evening all. Um, welcome to my blog. I'm glad you found your way here. So I'm assuming a lot of you, actually, if you've been reading sort of while you're getting ready to come to Kingston, I'm assuming a lot of you are here. Welcome. Um, you'll probably have seen me around. I do get around quite a lot. I've been working um, at international enrolment, regular enrolment. I've been a Freshers Angel this year. So I was um, going around Freshers Fair going, join this, join that. Do you have a welcome guide? Yeah, my face seems a lot more familiar now, doesn't it? Um, so hi, welcome to London. Um, yes, we're, we're very pleased to have you here. So you might notice, actually, if you've been keeping up with me quite regularly, you may have spotted something a bit different. No, not my hair. But thank you for noticing. Isn't it fabulous? It's blue. I love it. But no, not my hair, not my hair. My surroundings. Um, I've moved house. Well, sort of. I've moved out of my parents' house yet again. Um, and into my new house for third year. My third and final year at Kingston, actually. So, feeling a bit sad. But I thought I'd cheer myself up by doing a bit of a cribs thing and giving you the lowdown on how to get a stylish temporary accommodation while you're at uni on a budget because let's face it you know when you're choosing what to spend your money on wine you know rugs cushions homey sort of things yeah that's pretty much what most people think so um, I'm gonna give you a bit of a tour of my bedroom and show you all of the things I've learnt over three years of living in temporary accommodation. Let's get this show on the road. First we have rugs. Um, a rug is a really easy way to brighten up sort of a space and most temporary accommodation, most rented accommodation is done in neutral colours because that makes it sort of rentable to anyone regardless of colour scheme um, and if you like if you're like me and you love colour a rug is a super easy way to do that um, and I bought two from a shop in Kingston called Tiger for the measly sum of four pounds each um, and you know they're good in the winter because they keep my feet warm on the wooden floors and you know they they just look pretty so you can't go wrong with a good rug um, you could even go so far as to make your own rug. Cut up old, you know, old fabric if you're feeling a bit crafty. Um, make yourself a nice rug. This is actually, without a doubt, my favourite part of my room. Um, that's even including the bed. And let's face it, I love my bed, but I love my mirror more. Mostly because my mirror cost me absolutely nothing. Um, it's a bit hard to tell, sort of, underneath all of the stuff I've stuck on it, but yeah, my mirror was free from my auntie who was getting rid of it. And that's actually one of my top tips for decorating your room. Um, beg, borrow and steal stuff from family members and friends who, you know, know you're going away. Y you know, you don't have to buy everything. Um, my auntie also gave me this vase with the flowers in. And the fruit bowl on top of my mini fridge came from my grandma. So, family members will usually be really happy to offload sort of spare things onto you so they don't have to go to the trouble of getting rid of them th themselves. Uh, the fairy lights around my mirror I bought really cheaply from Primark uh, in March because they're Christmas tree lights. So that's a handy hint. Buy things, buy seasonal things out of season to get them cheaper. And as long as you have, you know, storage space, you can't really go wrong. I'm a big fan of the fairy light, as you can see, because I think it's just nice. You know, when you don't want the harsh light of, like, a big lamp, fairy lights can be quite nice. And if you're so inclined, they can even be really romantic. So you can't really go wrong storage with a fairy wise, light. Storage-wise, um, who has time for boring storage? I love using shoeboxes. Um... These shoeboxes, as you can see, they are quite pretty originally, but a shoebox is a really easy way of storing little bits and pieces. And if they're not pretty, 
you know, wrap them in wrapping paper, stick stickers on them, do something to them. Because let's face it, you, you buy a pair of shoes, you get the box for free. So they're, they're giving you storage for free. And students love free. Um, I also use baskets. Uh, but this is also my shopping basket when I go to Asda, round the corner. So, you know, dual purpose. Dual purpose. It saves space. When it comes to notice boards, this is definitely a case of do as I say, not as I do. Because I've gone for style over substance. Um, as you can see, my notice board is very pretty. Uh, it's covered with lovely memories, like over here. My ticket from Star Trek Into Darkness. Uh, yeah. Uh, a postcard from my cousin when she went to China. My wristband from the iTunes Festival. Lovely, lovely memories, which leave very little space for anything else. So if you're going to go get a notice board, which I really recommend you do, get one big enough to stick st to actually put useful stuff on, like reminders. Um, yeah, you'll, you know, this is essentially just a waste of my time because I can use it for nothing except it's nice to look at. But you know, there's nothing wrong with having some things that are quite nice to look at. It makes life happier uh, anyway. Posters are a great way to cheer up really boring walls. Um, so as you can see, I've got a bit of a French theme going on here uh, with my posters. And over here, this Eiffel Tower and this map of the monuments of France they look like fantastic posters, right? Wrong. They're actually wrapping paper. I bought them for about £2 a sheet from Waterstones. And, you know, they make great posters. So, yeah, y you can get posters from literally anywhere. I mean, that one, the Love You're in a Lesbian, that was free from Freshers' Fair. As was my Walking with Dinosaurs 3D poster. So, you know, you don't even have to pay for posters. And they're a really easy way of cheering up walls and hiding, you know, cracks. <laughs> because, let's face it, not all student accommodation is entirely pristine even when you move so this in. This is my universe. Um, it w It's a shame it won't actually show up on camera um, how great it looks, but it's all glow in the dark. All of the, the planets and the stars are glow in the dark. And you know, it's just something nice to look at while I'm lying in bed. My bed. My bed is awesome. Like, you know, it's a double bed, so I get lots of space. And, I mean, look at all the cushions. You cannot be uncomfortable in a bed with that many cushions. And, you know, it's brightly coloured. It it just cheers up, cheers me up when I look at it. And it's got all my favourite cuddly toys on there, so I don't feel too homesick, which is nice. And my Winnie the Pooh pillow. And I go to sleep staring at the face of David Bowie. You know, can't that go wrong. Brighter. Um, and anyone who checked out our Pinterest board um, showing what to take to uni will have seen that I brought my typewriter. This is Stephen, and when I'm writing essays, I use my laptop because, let's face it, I, I am only so patient when I'm writing my essays. But if I'm writing stories or doing anything creative, uh, there's nothing better than tapping away on a typewriter. And, you know, it makes my room look cool. It's like you come in and you think, hmm, there's a girl who is a literary genius. You know, I'm an actress. I'm, I'm great at faking these things. If you're someone who gets sort of homesick really easily, a nice way to combat that is with photographs. You know, stick some photos in a pretty frame um, and surround yourself with happy memories. So I've got my prom photo, a photo of my family when I was... I'm the tiny, angry-looking baby, sort of on the far left. A uh, photo frame from my 21st birthday. And over here there is a photo of me and my dad in Times Square in New York. Um, I've also got more photos sort of me and my mum. And, yeah, more David Bowie. You know, there's a, there's a trend. I like Paris, I like David Bowie. And my cat, of course. And photographs sort of make your room a bit more personal and if you ever get sad and homesick you can just look at them and think oh isn't it great I'm not in a house with these people anymore calendars everybody you need to get a calendar or a diary or both because you know when you have homework at uni it's not like at school where the teachers remind you like every 10 minutes that you have homework when you've got deadlines and stuff for lectures the lecturer will literally tell you maybe twice 
and then never mentioned it again until he or she goes, right, so about those essays you were writing for me? And you're like, oh, oh, no, I, I knew there was something I had to do today. Well, if you get one of these, you have no excuse because it's all written down for you. And, you know, you've got the bonus of, look, it's Benedict Cumberbatch. I mean, you can't... Benedict Cumberbatch. It's just... Yeah, why wouldn't you? So that's my crib. Um, I, don't, I don't know, I think I'm far too middle class to pull off saying the word crib, but that's essentially what it is. Um, this is where I live, this is where I'm going to be living for, you know, at least a year, um, if not more. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing after I finish uni. Um, I'll, I'll probably decide at some point, but, you know, for now I'm here and I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. Um, I've made myself at home, uh, as I think I've shown you. So yeah, if you just, here's my five, sort of my five top tips for um, decorating. You know, one, beg, borrow, steal things off family and friends. You know, you save a bit of money. Two, rugs. Never underestimate the importance and the usefulness of a good rug. Three, adequate storage. Use anything you can get your hands on. Four, um, make your bed look pretty. Make, make your bed look nice. Because, you know, you come home tired. It's nice to have a nice bed. And five, love the place you live. Because if you're not happy, then everything else will suffer. You, you know, your grades will suffer, your social life will suffer. So even even if you have to sort of pay a bit more, you know, within reason, find somewhere that you're going to enjoy and you're going to be happy. Um, and that's it. So I hope this has been helpful. And, you know, I'll see you guys around the uni. Um, feel free to stop me and say hi. And tell me you love my hair, because that never gets old. Um, okay. Try for a bit.